yesterday was my birthday so I've just turned 25 Ooh, I'm a quarter of a century I know I'm getting old but yesterday I went to Primark of course I went on a shopping spree and I just treated myself to some new clothes because I got some money for my birthday so I went to Primark and got a few bits so I just thought I'll just do this haul for you and show you just a few pieces what I got let's get started okay so the first item I got was this green jumper I just love it I love the shimmering sequency design on that and I love how it's a jumper and it's not a top because it's winter now and it's getting a bit cold I mean actually it's not getting that bad because at the moment it's quite mild which I'm quite surprised about it's December and it's mild so let's hope snow doesn't come I hate snow but I thought to keep me in the mood to get this sequence green jumper and wear it for Christmas um it was only £12. I just love the detail sequence design right here and it's a bargain, only £12. I mean if you go top shop like it'll probably be £30, maybe even £60 depending on what budget you want to spend but I am on a low budget all the time. I love finding a bargain and finding something that looks really good for a decent price so I had to get this one and it was in a size 8. I think it's a good size because you can wear it with like a leather skirt tuck it in you don't want it to be too big because it's a jumper so i went for a smaller size so it looks a bit more smart but the next item i got was actually from h&m it wasn't from primark um it's a red lace top with the peplin design at the bottom i just love it isn't it just stunning um it was only 15 pounds i got it in a size medium which was actually the only one left so it was actually quite like it was fate that it was left there for me to buy so um i'm thinking i'm actually with this for christmas as well but i don't know because i actually do need your help with which one i should wear because i'm quite torn between both of them um they are actually very different looks so this one is like very cozy but still quite sequency in christmas spirit but then this one is very sexy with lace and it's red it's I can, mm, so I'm not too sure but let me know in the comments below which one I should go for either this one or this one okay, moving on back to Primark I got this navy polo neck dress um, I just love it I tried on a size 10 and 12 and they were just too big I didn't want it to be big because it's a dress and it's polo neck and it's knitted I want it to be a little bit more on the fitted side but I got it in a size 8 and it was only £10 and I love how it's got long sleeve and it's knitwear so it's great for the winter, I wear it with like a pair of ankle boots, a leather jacket or a fur jacket and it just looks very very chic. Okay moving on to more party wear, I got this polo neck from Primark as well, it was £8, can't go wrong with £8 and I just love the glitter black detailing on it design is amazing and it's polo neck which keeps you warm in the winter i mean this probably would be another option that i could probably wear for the christmas for christmas day this was eight pounds yeah i love it it's so nice moving on to more knitwear this was actually in the sale it was seven pounds 60 and it was 10 pounds before i got it in a size eight i love the design of it how it's got that navy and white specks it seems like to me it's stripes but it's not really stripes but yeah, I got it in a size 8, it looks quite big, but um, I love when it's a little bit loose, wear it with like a pair of jeans and some Chelsea boots. But um, I love the layering look with jumpers, um, you can't go wrong with layering it over like a white shirt, showing the white collar, wearing like a nice statement necklace. This probably doesn't even be a Christmas look as well, but I think this is very casual for me. But some people might want to wear it as a Christmas look, but I would stick to it just as an everyday jumper before i actually went out shopping i was looking more and i thought hmm what do i actually need more of and i thought i have no jumpers i seriously have no jumpers what i've got in there is blouses sleeveless jackets one denim shirt one smart trousers and a jumpsuit i was like okay winter is coming i need more jumpers 
So that's why I actually went to buy mine because I need more jumpers. So I got this one which was six pounds. Oh no, it wasn't six pounds, it was four sixty. That was on sale as well. It's not a polo neck, it's in between a polo neck and just like a crew neck. Um but I had to get it in the grey because I need just another grey jumper and I just love the material, it's so soft. And I got that in a size eight. I got this super stretch size eight, 34 leg black jeans. I'm normally a 36, but 34 and Primark is okay for me. I just tuck it into my boots. Um, they're really, really stretchy. They stretch. Look at that. They stretch a lot. And I love it. I love how it's just soft material. And they're great for winter. And just great for like a statement. Not statement. A staple piece in your wardrobe. But um, yeah, they were only £12. Over the years, I've shopped in Primark. And they never have a woman's white classic shirt. They always like blouse material which i hate i don't like that when you have jumpers on top it just moves like it moves with you the, the silk shirt like ugh. it's like can you not just have a basic white classic shirt so i thought hmm menswear might have some so i got this one from menswear in a size small and it was only eight pounds see it's just nice cotton material and it's affordable and it's white and it's like oversized but still very smart and I've not tried it on yet so I'm not actually sure if it's going to fit me properly but um yeah I had to get a classic white shirt and I like the material how it's quite thick especially if you fall we want to layer it underneath a jumper or layer it with my next item this sleeveless um jacket which is from Primark as well so you can like even layer it over this and that would be quite nice. Just show the sleeves. And don't you think that blends really nicely? That would be nice for like a pair of jeans and some knee-high boots. Very, very classic look. I love the classic look at the moment. So, um, yeah, so that was my next item. Moving on, I'll show you this one properly. It's the burgundy sleeveless. I wouldn't say it's a jacket. It's like a cardigan, but it just has no sleeves with um, pockets on the front, which makes it look, look like a jacket. Um, that was only £14. I got in a size 6 to 8, which is a small. For this jacket at the moment, I have probably about three already. I've got one that's in like a silky material, a black one that's in like a tailored material, and now this one that's in like a wool or cotton material, which is very warm for the winter. But that was um, the next item that I got. At the moment, I have already probably about seven hats, so I don't actually need another hat. But I needed a new black medium size hat so I got to Primark and I was hunting for this hat it's 100% wool and it was only eight pounds I'm so glad that they had this hat it has like the buckle on the side right here and if you can see that which I like and it's not as floppy as the other ones I like how it's quite medium Ooh, rough love how it's like a medium size so it's not too big and not too um, small either i don't like them like bowler hats where it's got that flip thing i love how it's just like that yeah but that was only eight pounds moment i'm buying a lot of scarves and i love tartan scarves and i just think they're probably the best accessory you need to have in your wardrobe especially like um when it's cold you just want to fling a scarf on you want it to go with your outfit like me i always get stuff that goes with my outfit so i went into the shineman um it's a German brand, but I'll put the links down below so you can see what they have on their website. And this was only like twelve ninety nine, so I love the um, colours in this scarf. I love it's quite Christmassy. Uh, it's quite Christmassy with like the red, the green, the blue, the cream, all how it blends all together is really really nice. And it's so big as well, so you can like wrap it around you like a massive scarf. Mm, love it keeps you warm. I've worn it pretty much every day. Also, I've got some just like grey jeans from Primark, they were £12, exactly the same as the black ones, very stretchy, size 8, and they're 34 leg. If you're looking, if you're tall like me, you're looking for some long jeans, just match up the legs, the leg length in Primark, and make sure you get the longest leg, like me, so I always go and match it up with like another long leg, and then you'll get the perfect jeans for a cheap price. Okay, another scarf again. At the moment they have like these furry furry scarves and I thought mm, do I want one I don't know 
I don't I don't exactly want a coloured one. I think I'll just go for something that's safe and that will go with everything. So I just got like a fur one, just a brown, normal brown fur. And I thought it would look quite nice with my um, camel jacket and my boyfriend one for the winter. $14.99. This is actually from New Look. Um, and at the moment they've got some 25% off accessories and 50% off knitwear. So if you're looking for any bargains, go to New Look. Get this scarf as well, add it to your purchases. So at the moment I'm in collaboration with Shein. They are sending me some items I have to show in a video or blog post and or write about it or just do like a styling video. Um, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like but in another video I'm going to do like a get ready with me video for like nightwear look where this dress is going to be in it. But I'll quickly just show you what it looks like. So it's this leather, flux leather dress which is not real leather. Um, and it's like a skater dress, it's got the waist here and it's got the pleats on the front like so with short, short sleeves um, and I've just found out that there's actually pockets on there which is the best thing you can have for a dress is pockets I've actually seen a lot of dresses with pockets that I would never think they'll put pockets in the dress so I'm actually quite surprised that this one did have pockets and I was like, hmm, that's another accessory if you're cold, put your hands in the pockets and it's just got like a black zip, which you can't, which you can't see, which I like how you can't see the zip down the back. But um, I've not actually worn it yet, but I'm going to be doing a video of this um, in the next few videos. So just keep checking out for that. But that was my latest item to my wardrobe as well. But um, keep checking out for the video for this one. And last but not least, I've got this watch from ASOS. I don't know if you can see that. My sister got it for me for my birthday. It's this classic black and gold watch. You can see, I love it, I love it. It's so nice, it'll just go with my outfits. As you can see, I'm obsessed with finding things that'll go with my outfits. Like if I have a watch, it has to go with my outfits. If I have my hair done, it has to go with my outfits. And if I have a scarf, it has to go with my outfits. If I have my nails done, it has to go with my outfits. I was really happy when she got me this watch because I've been looking for a watch like this for ages and um, it's black. I don't like how they have like the brown strap, but I love how it's black with the gold detailing around and inside the um, circle. But yeah, I'm not sure how much it was, but um, I can't wait to put this on. I mean, I've not worn it yet, but I can't wait to set the time, put it on and wear my outfits. But that was probably the last item. Oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I went to the Shyman again. And I got these boots. I needed some leather boots for winter. So I've got these black leather soft, like the softest boots I can ever buy. And I love how they've got the buckle on the front and the buckle down here. I mean, they look quite big because so I'm a size eight feet. Um, and they were $34.99. And I just love how they're not too like big around the top here because I have really really slim legs and I love how they're not too big so they make my calves look okay in there I mean there's a little bit room but it's not as bad as other boots would be it would be like flopping all the way and flopping and flopping like flopping moving 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 so I'm really glad that I got these boots and if I'm to shine in again and I'll put the link down below for these boots as well but they're only $34.99 no no oops before I go I got a new tattoo done on Sunday. It was from my boyfriend. He bought it for me as a gift. I've been wanting to get roses on my shoulder right here for ages, but I never actually found the right design. And I never found the right tattoo studio place to get it done. So I was just researching, researching, research. I mean, when you get a tattoo, you need to do lots of research. You need to know what you want. You don't want to regret it. You need to have a lot of thinking to it because when it's on your body, it's permanent. Like you can't take it off unless you laser it, which I think is more painful than actually getting a tattoo done. So if you're getting a tattoo, my advice is research, research, research first. Find the best um, studio. Look at their reviews. Check out the artist's work. See how long they've been there and go in there talk to them see how they are with you see if they make you feel comfortable and when i went into this studio which was latin angel in richmond i was so happy with the customer service this guy was amazing i loved his work i mean all of them in that studio has been amazing so it was quite tough for me to pick my artist but when i saw his work i was like okay this guy needs to do my tattoo so 
I set myself on design and I went in there on Sunday. I wasn't nervous at all, just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. Excited then, nervous. Um, a lot of people said that if you get a tattoo done on your shoulder, it's more painful. But when I got it done, I didn't feel like it was, it wasn't that bad. I mean, lots of people was like, did it hurt? What's the pain like? I mean, honestly, you, I won't tell anybody what the pain's like until they get it done because it's quite a difficult and strange pain to feel. It's not, it's not really pain, it's just weird and irritating, but it's bearable. So um, my advice for you, if you want to get a tattoo done, get it done, but don't ask questions. Just get it done and see how it feels. But um, I've got this tattoo done on my shoulder and I'll quickly just show you what it looks like at the moment. Let me see. And at the moment it's in its healing stage. I'm just like applying cream and washing it and everything. So it looks quite sore and still quite new. It's not as sore it was before. But um, I love it. I love the design. I wanted just two rows. My sister has a rose here already. But it's not the similar. It's not the same rose as what I have. But um, I wanted something that is on this section. I love this section with tattoos done. It looks so nice with like outfits and how you can see it. And if you have it like a boob tube you can see that and i just love it but i can't wait for summer to come so, so that's all that i have to show you i hope you like the video give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in another video bye